Welcome to Awesome History. On April 10, 1815, at 10 o'clock at night on a remote island in the Dutch East Indies, the planet screamed. A mountain, taller than Everest was tall, tore itself apart in a blast so violent it registered as a 7 on the volcanic explosivity index, the maximum possible. Mount Tambora didn't just erupt. It unmade itself! In 48 hours, it ejected 160 cubic kilometers of rock. Ash and sulfur! Enough to bury Manhattan 300 feet deep. The sound, it was heard 1,600 miles away, like cannon fire in Australia. The ash plume reached 28 miles high, piercing the stratosphere. And the direct death toll was around 71,000 people. But that was just the overture. The real horror began weeks later when Tambora S an invisible weapon arrived. 60 million tons of sulfur dioxide High in the stratosphere, it transformed into a global haze of sulfate aerosols, a planetary sunshade. Sunlight dimmed, temperatures plummeted, and by the spring of 1816, the world entered a paradox. The sun still rose, but summer never came. June 6th, frost this morning killed all the beans and corn. Snow fell two inches deep at noon. The people are in despair. The vines are blackened. Children begged for bread in the streets. In New England, farmers called it 1800 and froze to death. In June of 1816, ice formed on lakes in Pennsylvania. In July, a Massachusetts farmer harvested snow to preserve his meat. In August, Connecticut held a second Thanksgiving to pray for warmth. Crops failed across Europe, North America, and Asia. Grain prices tripled overnight. In Ireland and Germany, food riots turned deadly. In China, monsoons failed, triggering typhus and famine. But in a drafty mansion on Lake Geneva, catastrophe sparked genius. Trapped indoors by relentless rain and gloom, a group of writers made a bet who could write the scariest story. An 18-year-old Mary Shelley, sleep-deprived and haunted by the howling dark, dreamed of a student reanimating dead flesh, and thus... Frankenstein was born the first true science fiction novel forged in volcanic winter. Meanwhile, Lord Byron wrote Darkness, a poem envisioning a sunless apocalypse. The bright sun was extinguished, and the icy earth swung blind and blackening in the moonless air. Even vampire lore surged with 